Once upon a time, Russia relied heavily on Western companies for something crucial. Something like turbines to power their cities. But in 2022, everything changed. With Western companies pulling out and leaving Russia in a power struggle, something amazing happened. Russia decided to take matters into their own hands and developed a game-changing turbine. The GTD-110M. In this video, you'll discover how this incredible invention is shaking up the global energy market and why Russia's latest move could make them a major player on the world stage. What's the big deal about a gas turbine? Before we go any deeper, let's take a step back and talk about turbines. You probably don't think about them every day, but turbines are actually behind some of the most critical things we rely on, like powering entire cities and industrial zones. They're the unsung heroes of the energy world, quietly keeping the lights on and the factories running smoothly. And for years, Russia was depending on Western companies. Big names like Siemens and General Electric, yep, the same GE that makes your appliances, to supply them with these vital turbines. But here's the twist. Russia just said, no more. They just developed their own gas turbine. And that's a huge deal because it means they can now power things without depending on outsiders. Sergei Kimov, the head of Russia's energy sector, even said, we're done with foreign companies. We've got this covered now. And trust me, when a country as powerful as Russia makes a statement like that, it's a big flex. Why was Russia relying on Western turbines? So you're probably wondering, why did Russia need Siemens and GE in the first place? Well, let me give you a quick history lesson. Back in the days of the Soviet Union, Russia didn't need to rely on foreign companies for turbines. They made their own. They had everything they needed to power their cities and industries and were self-sufficient. But when the Soviet Union collapsed in the early 1990s, a lot of that expertise and infrastructure vanished with it. Russia was left in a tough spot, so they had no choice but to rely on Western companies like Siemens and GE to fill the gap. At first, it wasn't a bad deal. These companies had cutting edge technology and Russia needed it. But over time, the cost of buying turbines and maintaining them began to add up. Russia found itself stuck in a cycle of constantly paying for new turbines and repairs, which wasn't ideal. The whole setup wasn't sustainable, and that's where the story takes a major turn. Why Russia had to take control of its energy future. Now things really started to change in 2022. Western sanctions hit Russia hard, and suddenly, companies like Siemens and GE pulled out. That meant no more turbines, no more repairs. It was like someone turned off the switch on Russia's power grid. That was Russia's wake-up call. They realized they could no longer rely on foreign companies for something so crucial. They had to step up and take control of their own energy future, and that's exactly what they did. Fast forward to today, and Russia has officially rolled out its own gas turbine. The GTD-110M, imagine this turbine as the Ferrari of turbines. It's fast, efficient, and way more affordable to run. And here's the kicker. Russia is going to save millions on energy costs in the long run. They've gone from being a customer of Western turbine companies to a creator of their own turbines. Talk about flexing on the world stage. So. What's so special about the GTD-110M? Now you might be wondering, okay, so Russia made a turbine. What makes it so special? Well, let me tell you, this thing is a beast. Before this, Russia was stuck with turbines that could only power smaller systems, but the GTD-110M is in a whole different league. This turbine can power an entire city on its own. Yeah, you heard that right, a whole city. It's powerful enough to keep lights on for thousands of people, run factories, and keep the economy buzzing. And here's the kicker. Russia doesn't have to rely on foreign companies for repairs anymore. The GTD-110M is built, tested, and maintained by Russian engineers. They control every step of the process from design to testing to maintenance. This is a massive win for national pride. Russia is showing the world that they don't need anyone else to power their country. They're in full control now. Why did it take so long to make this turbine? Now you might be thinking, why didn't Russia do this sooner? Why did it take them so long to develop their own turbines? Well, building a turbine that can power an entire city is no easy task. 
We're talking about some serious engineering here. Things like material science, heat transfer, aerodynamics, and precision engineering. It's like trying to build the perfect sports car, but with the added pressure of making sure it works in the harshest conditions. Russia did try to make high-capacity turbines in the past, but things didn't always go smoothly. Back in 2017, one of their test turbines actually exploded during testing. Talk about a major setback, but hey, that's the reality of tech development, trial and error. You learn from your mistakes and push forward, and that's exactly what Russia did. After a lot of hard work and determination, they'd finally succeeded in creating a turbine that works, and works really well. How politics changed everything. In 2014, Russia annexed Crimea, and that's when everything started to shift. Western companies like Siemens pulled out of Russia, leaving the country without access to their advanced turbines. That's when Russia realized they couldn't depend on the West for something so critical anymore. They had to go all in on developing their own tech. And after years of hard work, they're finally reaping the rewards. What's next for Russia? Now that Russia has their hands on the GGD 110M, they're not stopping. They plan to produce two of these turbines every year from here on out. By 2035, Russia will need around 50 turbines to keep things running smoothly, and they're planning to make every single one of them in Russia. But that's not all. Russia has bigger plans. They want to export these turbines to other countries. That's right. Russia is looking to compete with the likes of Siemens and GE on the global stage. These turbines aren't just going to stay in Russia. They're going to be sold to the rest of the world. And that's not the only thing Russia is working on. The tech scene in Russia is on fire right now. They're getting better at electronics, manufacturing, and even microelectronics. Russian companies are doing everything they can to replace imports with homegrown products, and the demand for Russian-made microelectronics is expected to quadruple by 2030. Russia is not slowing down. They're getting a serious second wind in the tech world, and it's only going to get bigger from here. What does this mean for Russia? So what does all this mean for Russia's future? The move to create their own high-powered turbines is a major step towards national independence. Russia is no longer relying on the West for critical energy technology. Now they're ready to compete with the biggest players in the global energy game. And who knows? This might just be the beginning of an even bigger technological boom in Russia. If they keep pushing forward, we could be seeing some incredible innovations coming out of the country in the near future. What do you think? Will Russia dominate the global energy sector in the years to come? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you won't miss out on the latest tech news.